that are RAID 0 together into like this big thing. Let's say if I want to do a back end of some crazy website where all the crackheads gather around and talk about their cracky stories, yeah, I would use it with something like Gluster. And um, that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, sit down and I'm not going to get my ass kicked in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure again. Okay. So this is Rdub again, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be creating a Gluster volume. Um, right there is Lumchan from uh, Yurusei Yatsura. If you don't know what that is, please check it out. Anyways, um, enough of this. Let me kind of reset it. I've been recording a lot. Okay, first of all, you want to log in as root. And when you're logged in as root, you're going to want to run the daemon. And the daemon is, sorry, gluster D. And if you want to see if it's running, PS dash capital A G rep, I just put in glus. Gluster D is running. Okay, cool. Now, you want to go into your nodes, so, and see if gluster D is running, so... Let's go into the nodes. And I'm glad I didn't do the stupid thing and put my keyboard in the frame so you guys could see my password. Anyways, let's see. I think I have this already running. Uh, G rep gloss. The gloss. Anyways, how's it already running? Let me show you. ETC RC.D RC dot local do na a little bit of nano now add this in RC local to have it start up when you boot up your operating system last from the in the initialization scripts and when you do that you want to put the full path in there don't just type some hash batch crap like ooh gluster D and then put some really cool comments in it and be like I'm not a noober Anyways, I'm not going to say that. And let's exit out of there. Now to actually create a volume, first of all, let's go and see if there's any volume still there. So you go Gluster Volume Info. No volumes present. And if you really want to know the commands, I'd suggest going into the manual file, which we're not going to do today. 
And also, you can get a nice console doing this. Just type in Gluster and boom, you're in there. Quick to get out. Really convenient. Okay, so since there's no volumes created, we want to do cluster, a uh, gl cluster, cluster volume create. Then you want to put this, put the name there. And what we're gonna put the name? Um, what's gonna be the name? Oh, M O B. Heck yeah, man! I'm from the streets. M O B, man, the mob. Okay, that's enough of me. Anyways, um. Then you want to add the servers, so, or um, whatever. So mine is alpha, and I'm just going to put mob and pack zero, and it's going to be mob. And let's see. And it's successful. Heck yeah. Now, um, you can actually, when you have the semicolon and the uh, or, I mean, backslash, whatever. Um, you can actually put the path to your mounts right there, and that's called the brick. Bricks combined together make the volume. So let me run through this quickly. Now, when you want the volume to start, you gotta do this step. You gotta do cluster volume start and MOB. Boom! The mob was successful. The mob. Now this is the tricky part. Now you got to get this thing to mount. Now you can just do make dir, make the directory slash mount slash cluster. And yes, it's already there. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bonehead. Anyways, so now you got to do mount dash t. You got to make sure you have the cluster. Um, client software whatever I don't know I compiled this from source um, maybe I'll have a video up of that but yeah straight slackware but this is a trick right here you gotta put Gluster FS for the file system okay and then um, you gotta know where to do it you could type in the server name it just needs to get the um I guess the config the data to where the um I'm not sure where the volumes are or something or no the volume name that's all it needs so you can just type in localhost and then instead of the where the bricks are you just type in the volume name right here and then where you want to mount it which is going to be mount slash cluster heck yeah now go to cd slash mount that bluster right here oh I already have some crap here yeah um, I don't know okay so right now we're gonna see if we can change something and uh, glus in the gluster file system mount and will it appear and on one of the other nodes which is the other node this is a two node thing now here's a tab so we're gonna log in to the other node so um we have to mount this And let's, I'm trying to do this quick as possible because I only have a few minutes on this camera. And boom. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Yeah, there's a Crisis 2 folder in there. Yeah, and, uh, enough said. Probably see my other video where I played Crisis 2. Anyways, so let's um, do a touch. And let's touch this. Sorry, this is Unix Linux underscores. This is the greatest vidya ever.txt. Oh, we touched that. Oh, yeah, look at that long ass name. Okay, now, boom. Yes, success. 
I hope that's spelled right. Bam. Okay, now let's go to the other one. Now, as you can see, that's alpha. And host name, that's pack zero. So let's see. LS. Oh, yeah, see, it's right there. That's on pack zero. And it's there on alpha. Let's see. Nano, this, boom. Yes, success. Oh wow, yeah, I got two different versions of Slackware running on each, but it works that way. Yes, and this is a demonstration of the Gluster file system. And um, I hope you enjoy. A good, a good underlying um, file system to use is XFS. Don't use that riser killer stuff. Use XFS, use extension 4, and BTRFS. I guess that's really popular now. But me, I'm really old school, so I like extension 2. Thanks for watching. R-Dub, out.